In 2018, the Lenore Ryan University men's soccer team made history by winning their first South Atlantic Conference regular season championship. The Bears finished with an 11-6 record and went 7-3 in conference play. Head coach Jack Winter was named the SAC Coach of the Year, and under his guidance, six players were named to the All-SAC team. The squad contained the SAC Freshman of the Year, the SAC Defensive Player of the Year, and the first first-team academic All-American in program history. From that squad, nine players graduated. The 2018 season was one for the history books. But now, the Lenore Ryan University men's soccer team must look to go again with an influx of 15 new players. The challenge starts now. The year starts with the arrival of the players, with the international players being picked up from Charlotte Douglas International Airport. How you doing, guys? Hola. <laughs> it's been a long summer of preparation, including renovating the locker room. An exciting moment for newcomers and returners alike. The first event to kick off the year is the annual Team Lake Day. Oh yeah, I think everyone on the team loves the uh, the quiz games, and especially you know, like you said, they they kick off at the at the Lake Day at the beginning of the season, and everyone's you know super competitive. Uh, lots of criticism to the officials and you know to each other. It gets quite intense sometimes, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun, I think, for everyone, and I think it's. It really is important to the team. Uh, I think we get to know each other better, and we also have a lot of fun and have a lot of laughs together. And you know, enjoy doing something besides only playing soccer together. I think, which is important too. The name game that was that was a good one. That was probably one of the best ones to help us, uh, I guess, learn a little bit more about each other or remember each other's name. When I had a hard time with that one, I think I was paired up with Austin Ziegler. His name was <laughs> quite a mouthful. And, I can talk whatever he wants. I don't care. The winning team is mine. 
my team didn't serve me. They were not at my level. They, they lose every, every chance, and I won my, I did the two, the two points of my team. Yeah, my team, we, we were really hopeful at first, but David uh, managed to flip his kayak and so that it, and, uh, we, did, we didn't do too well in that, in that uh, event. <laughs> that was hilarious. He just, absolutely, he, he was trying to save it and it's like he was going really, really slowly, but you knew it was coming and it was inevitable. It was, it was hilarious to watch. After, after what happened in the first game, I decided to, to let my team play without me and you see what happens. You know, Dave, for one, he's a great guy, and he's obviously uh, really kind to us for even letting us come out to his home and, you know, enjoy his place. And uh, I think that's, you know, a really special day for our team to be able to do that, and we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't have him. So, you know, that's huge. It's such a pleasure to be able to have this team here. This is my third, maybe fourth year, and this team has gotten better and better every single time, and it's because of the team building by the coach and the wonderful athletes. I think that uh, it's, you know, really important that we have people like that because they help not only, you know, the program form relationships in the community, but they also help us grow relationships within our program. And, you know, it's the kind of thing that really, I think, makes us stand out a lot from other places is the tight-knit relationships that we do have within the community. The day capped off with a trip to the local Carolina movie theater as a team to watch Aladdin. Oh yeah, that was a fun night as well, the, uh, the movie night, that was a good one. We really enjoyed that. I think uh, it's probably one of the best opportunities we have as a team to grow. The next day consisted of physicals and then team meetings with words from head coach Jack Winter, athletic director Kim Pate, Nutritionist Rob Garrison, Assistant Coach Hector Rivas. Sports performance analyst, Dr. Keith Lighting. Athletic trainer, Stephen Rozier. And director of compliance, Jenna Beauregard, speak before the captains, Alex Langer and Gonzalo Garcia.
was an absolute honor for me to be your captain and to be a captain of such a great group of young boys. I remember the one speech I had in front of you guys in preseason. I talked about that the LRU men's soccer program is a big family and I now like that this family is even stronger than before. And we are back, first day of preseason. It's been a, a really long summer, waiting for the boys to, to be here. We're really excited, we have a really good team, really good group, really good, great guys. So now it's time to, to be on the field, that's what we, we all want. So today, this morning we're gonna work a little bit in a circuit with the goalkeepers right here and then the players over there. It's a technical, tactical circuit involving a little bit of fitness. So that's the that's the idea for the morning. Looking forward for, for a great session and the boys to get to know each other and start off well. The part, okay, well most of the training was fitness oriented, but we added soccer to it, so that was fun. Didn't really feel like fitness. Um, I was more engaged with getting my touch back and stuff like that. But the uh, straight up running at the end um, was definitely a bit tough, especially after the training we had. Um, I could tell other people weren't loving it, but tried to encourage each other, and that was a big component. It was good. <laughs> it could be like a good bonding experience. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Nice. So yeah, after practice, we go back inside, we shower off and go to the ice pass. We won the SAC regular season title last year. What was our SAC record? Seven and three. Seven and three. And then the quizzes. Yes, the quizzes. So um, this happens every year. We get put into teams. And then at the beginning of the season, we are, you know, quizzed. They're not like school quizzes, obviously. They're fun quizzes that Josh makes. Um, the first one was about the team from the previous year, I think. Victor Caston was our leading goal scorer last season with a grand total of 10 goals. Who was second on the list? Nacho Goya. Bonus point. How many goals did Nacho score? Seven. Okay, well, for question number five. How many goals as a team did we score last year? Options were 42, 44, or 41? Let's go. 41. 42. So we do rock, paper, scissors as a tiebreaker when two teams had the same number of points. So the tiebreaker could be for, you know, who gets 
third instead of fourth or, you know, first and second. It's just if teams were tied. And then it's usually two out of three, I think. We always had arguments about that. <laughs> but, yeah. oh, 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 oh. up with Josh uh, you know yep after that we usually play some type of social conditioning game or just a game for just get our minds engaged <clears throat> so yeah the cone game two people usually touching heads that's not necessary for the game it just always happens um, bend over you're trying to get to the cone first when he says cone but before that he'll say all types all types of body parts like you know head shoulders knees, and toes Toes, the oh my gosh. He'll say toes and try to make us think it's cone. He'll just, toes! Nose! Is cone! Okay. I'm just about missing. As we go on, we'll, we'll learn, we learned more um, tactically as the season went on, and these drills all improved by implementing all the different things that we learned, so it's good to start off for us. But yeah, so then we have a dinner together and we meet in this classroom called the Fintel classroom. It's the big one with the tiered seating. Um, and that's where we kind of wrap up what we did throughout the day and what we're going to be doing as we go on. In the final seconds, because the team that doesn't care as much about concentrating until the final moments usually has a lapse in judgment, typically, which results in an error. That is why we do these things. That is why we ask you to concentrate. That is why we ask you to be intentional about your focus. Do you understand that? Because hopefully you're training your minds for when it matters. For when in the 89th minute, in the game that decides whether we win or lose the conference tournament, we are still just as organized as we are in the seventh minute. We already have a goal. All we need is a goal. We're playing in a neutral venue. All we need is that one goal to win the game. All they need is to score a goal against a tired team, but they don't find it anywhere. All they see is a bunch of fresh, organized, vocal, energized, intense, and attentional players. We're still acting the same way as they did in the sixth minute. During preseason, the Bears practice twice a day with an early morning session followed by an afternoon session. Between that comes lunch and a team bonding quiz.
good. Up, 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 up
um, fair and square, and everybody went crazy. And throughout the, I guess throughout the rest of the season that I had, uh, I mean, everybody just chose me to do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun just seeing all the guys being um, supportive of both of us. But I don't know, I guess that game just comes down to luck a lot of times. I guess I just have the luck in it. It's it's a skill that I have. <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of um so I mean we do it on the field and off the field, but it's a lot of team bonding in a way just to have some fun with the guys and just become closer together as a team. The work that we put in, in there definitely translates onto the field as well. Yes. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. I pers personally, I I mean, I enjoyed it with every moment. It's something that definitely gets you ready for what you will experience throughout the whole collegiate se season. The practices are structured with the initial warm up, followed by a social conditioning game. Rondos are a huge part of the practice session before heading into the main exercises working on the technical and tactical frameworks. Good. Very good, Luca. Well done. Well done, Luca. Gio, well done. Fantastic orange. Well done, Eric Miller. Hey, 
Hey, hey, go to. Go to. Hey, Dylan. Play Alex. Go, 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 man, go, man. Ah, it's for you, Victor. There we go. Well done, Eric Miller. It's a tough week for the players in the August North Carolina heat, so pool sessions are also important to aid with rest and recovery. And of course, for some more team bonding competitions. <laughs> Preseason done. I'm out here with our athletic trainer Stephen Rosier. Stephen, the boys are looking in great shape. Can you give us your thoughts? Yeah, uh, some intense practices to start the year. The boys look really fit. They're doing well. They're staying healthy. Uh, really impressed with the care they take of their bodies. They're doing a great job fueling to give themselves the best opportunity to have the best practices. Excited for the season ahead. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, with Gonzalo Garcia, our senior captain and winger from Portugal. Gonzo, we are nearly at the end of pre-season now. Can you give us a little insight into how the guys are coming together as a group? Yes, of course. I think we are doing a fantastic job this pre-season. Uh, the group is coming together uh, strong, and I think the new guys are doing a fantastic job uh, coming together with the Lenore Ryan culture. And I think also the returners are doing an amazing job putting everything uh, and everyone together. So I can say that I'm really excited for what we can do this season because our group is, is a fantastic group. Thank you. Morning sessions mean an extra early start for the coaching staff. The, uh, the warm -up. The running in the warm An important part of the role the four coaches play is to ensure preparation is thorough and timely. Every Friday the team trains early to maximize the time for recovery prior to the Saturday game. These sessions are focused on set pieces and tactical tweaks in preparation for the next opposition.
is you are able to get more physical recovery from train at seven than you do in the afternoon before a game. So hopefully we've got something to Away! Good job, Danny. Another LR men's soccer tradition. <laughs> birthday boy, Benny Janizier, has to sing for a full minute on his birthday. Arguably the best quiz round is a picture round featuring funny pictures of many of the players. <laughs> This year, nutritionist Rob Garrison plays a prank on Coach Alderson. I mean, I think that that pic the, the picture thing, I mean, it's very special for everybody because by doing that, uh, you make sure that everybody is, you know, in the same, they are, you know, like feeling more as a, feeling together. They feel that cohesion that I mentioned before. Uh, but yeah, I think those, those moments are very special for everybody and definitely they, those moments make us Bro, you know, like, so I think it's a very good, good chance to, to feel together as a team, and I don't know, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty positive. And I love him. I, I had, I have a really good connection with with Dylan. He tried to, you know, be positive in every moment. So, and I, and I thank that, that attitude because it's to admire. To the squad for further use, I will make an exception of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Victor is such a character, man. He's always like with that face, sometimes with the long face, like he's always sad, but is he smiling? That's a good news. Good. <laughs> We always knew that Gonza is a, I don't know, he has a master's in keeping secrets, you know, uh, but <laughs> at the end, you can see that he's always like, I don't know, being so, so shy and, you know, but at the end, he's such a nice person and, and he likes, you know, to, to be around and, I don't know, and meet new people, new girls, I don't know, that, that was amazing.
35, I'll give you the grab. <laughs> I tried, you know, 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 I tried. If you are able to create that atmosphere, that positive atmosphere before a game, uh, I think it's going to have a very big impact in that game. So, and everybody is going to feel engaged and focused. And I think, honestly, it's a very positive thing to, to incorporate to the program. So. Um, and we feel we feel very good by doing those activities and free and you know like it's a very good feeling. The conclusion of the first week of preseason is a scrimmage at home against Barton College. This is the first time the group can play together in a competitive game. Goals from Luca Kolsch, Andres Ruiz, Gonzalo Garcia, Oliver Gardner, and Gabe Walker give the Bears a comfortable 5 0 victory. <laughs> Great way to start the year. I'm out here with German junior Sirk Kish. Sirk, you made your debut tonight for the Bears in the preseason game against Barton with a 5 0 win. How did it feel to play your first game this season and for the Bears? And how are the boys feeling after a great performance? It was a very great experience for me, and I'm really thankful and glad to play my first soccer game here in the United States or the LR. And um, it, is, it was a, great, a really great time. Uh, to play here and all in all I think we did a very good job today with our 5-0 win against Barton and uh, before the game the whole team tried to do all the things we were practicing practicing the whole week during our practice sessions and um, yeah I'm very thankful to play my first game. Thank you sir. Game in pre-season, a 5-0 home win against Barton, can you give us your thoughts? Yeah, I was pleased. Um, first half we weren't quite at the intensity level that we would like to be, but the second half, or second third, was a lot better. Moving the ball much faster, and a lot more intense in our press. We started to get used to playing with one another, I think, um, and it ended up in three goals, four goals. Um, but I was very, very pleased with the guys who came on the second half of that second third as well. Uh, fantastic showing from the whole group. They've worked tremendously hard this week and it was obviously a, a nice thing to finish the week with a, a good win. So, yeah, pleased. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done, um, but a good week so far. Thank you, Coach. After the game, the parents provide food for the players, creating a great family environment around the program. The first week is done, but the work has only just begun. <laughs>